Hi everyone, welcome to Relatively Refined. My name is Patty. In today's video, we are going to go thrifting together. I'm gonna to take you along with me on the hunt for some fall decor. So we're gonna be looking in a thrift store that I have only been to once before. It is out of town, actually it's out of state for me. It's in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. And I was there for a medical appointment and decided to decompress by wandering around the thrift store as I am wont to do. So I took you along with me. We're gonna look for some fall decor and uh, then we're gonna come back to the house. I'm gonna share with you what I purchased at that thrift store as well as a few others. And then you're gonna to wanna to stick around for the relatively refined segment this week where we share our viewers thrifted treasures. And I'd like to share with you a website and shop update. So if all that sounds good to you, let's get started with the video. So this thrift store is not one I typically go to. It is a couple of hours away, but I was there for a medical appointment and swung in. I was immediately drawn to this section. There was a pheasant, resin pheasant candle holder, which is just a look that I like, along with a print of some polo players and horses. And it was just a beautiful scene. And I loved the Ralph Lauren inspired look of this print. I also spotted some copper that I thought would be great for fall hanging up. There was so many, so much glassware in vases. I always give it a quick scan for unusual things. I thought this vase was really cute. and all kinds of different vessels and vases and all kinds of colors. I do find a lot of these at thrift stores and I give them a quick once over. And I have to always check out the glassware because you never know what you might find. And they had so much of it. I love this bowl with the little gold rim. I thought that was very sweet. And tons and tons of mugs. I spent a little bit of time looking at this. I thought this was the funniest mug. It's a ski boot for $1.75. I thought that was really cool. And even considered getting that for my sister Kathleen. But at the end I did put it back. Sorry, Kathleen, if that's something you wanted. And pitchers and teapots and teacups, all kinds of great tea accoutrement. I liked these green glass, green glasses. I thought those were pretty. They'd be lovely for Christmas. And just I mean, as far as the eye can see, mugs and glasses and teapots. I spotted these strawberry, uh, divided strawberry dishes. I thought they were so cute. And um, they had also a, a, an accompanying fondue pot, which I thought was really adorable. It was a really sweet set. If you know anyone who collects strawberries, that would be a really great gift. And I also thought this was so adorable. It's a Fitz and Floyd kangaroo teapot, and I think that was a creamer. And just back to looking at some of the shelves, they were just loaded with stuff. I thought this was a beautiful pattern. I didn't pick it up, but I thought it was a cool pattern. This picture really caught my eye. I liked the lines of it. Very simple and clean, tall, and the narrow opening I thought would be so pretty with tall sunflowers or dried hydrangea for the late summer and fall. And these are interesting. These are utensil holders and are perfect for a buffet. 
If you are having guests over, you can put spoons and forks in these and put them out on your buffet. They are a lovely tabletop addition. And as I made my way over to the silver, I couldn't resist these teeny little individual butter dishes. They are covered silver plated butter pat holders. And there's my hand to give you sort of a size reference. They were just tiny and so cute. I almost took them home with me, but then I thought better of it. And I did, I love to look at the metals. It's one of my favorite spots. I did spot this Arthur Court gift set and I really debated about it. It was a plate and a spreader new in box. And of course my I went right to this terrine because I have a terrine problem and this didn't appear to have its underplate but I did find it on a different shelf. And just a few more things. I thought this teapot was really cute. I'm not sure why it was in with the metals, but uh, somebody obviously just put it there along with that pretty blue plate. And there was lighting for days, all kinds of lamps. I didn't see any that caught my eye, but they had, did have a great selection. This next item in the metals really caught my eye and piqued my curiosity. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what it is. It was silver plated with a gold or copper colored interior with a little tiny scoop inside it. And it had several handles and a pedestal. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, but it took me a while to figure out what it was. And ultimately it is a sugar bowl. <laughs> and the little scoop is to scoop out sugar. So that would go with a tea service or coffee service. And it was a unique piece. I really gave it some thought, considered bringing it home with me, but ultimately put it back on the shelf for someone else to enjoy. There were so many sets of dishes and tea sets. It was really incredible to see so many. I did look through piles and piles of them. And I really enjoyed this thrift store. This was a very large thrift store and not one I typically go to. And I did purchase a few things, but mostly I used it as an opportunity to just look, feast my eyes on some different things. I think we all get stuck in our, our uh, route of thrift stores and it was just nice to see something different for a change. And so I'm gonna head back home and I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, everyone, I have a pretty good haul for you today. It is an accumulation of a few weeks worth of stuff uh, from a few different places. And I, some are from a charity thrift store that I went to, which is not one that I typically go to. And the other items are from a charity thrift store that was having a fill a bag sale. So if you're not familiar with that, that is sort of the tail end of a sale when they charge you a flat rate to fill a bag, quite literally. So um, I won't have prices on those items, but I will include them in my haul. I am so anxious to get this haul out to you because I wanna get these items washed and put to use. So I've been delayed in this video because I just wasn't feeling well. And now that I'm feeling better, I'm just excited to share these items with you. I'm coming at you from a very different place, which is sitting on the floor because I have stuff spread all around me. And rather than constantly bending and reaching into this huge bag, which is where they're from, I thought that I would just spread them out around me and show them to you as, uh, you know, as they're laying here. So I'm gonna start with the first item I purchased, which, you're going to laugh, but if you know me, I cannot resist a terrine. <laughs> I have way too many. But this one, <laughs> this one I had to get. First of all, it was because it was in four pieces. So here is the actual terrine. It does have a back stamp. It is made in Portugal. 
and it is marked Lucarte or Lucarte, L O U C A R T E, I believe. And I loved the profile of this terrine. It is just such a nice, sort of sleek, low profile with these really nice handles. It came in four pieces, as I said, which is unusual. I will often find terrines, but not with all the pieces. So this one has the underplate with the back stamp that Lucart made in Portugal. And this just fits right on top of this. It's not beautiful. And it has the ladle, which I loved. I loved this ladle. Can you see the nice detailing on it? I just love that. So it's this lovely ladle and the lid. And there's no chips or marks or scratches. And here it is in its entirety. I loved this. This was $5. So that's another reason I couldn't leave it behind. So it is $5. It is in four pieces. And I loved the low profile. My hutch, buffet and hutch in my dining room, the overhang of the hutch is such that I could not fit the terrine that I purchased to go there. It's just too tall. And in fact, that terrine is probably going to go into the shop. I will show a picture of it so you can see. So you see, I am letting, I am letting something go. I purchased this, then the other terrine can go. But I just loved the detailing of this. I love the, I can't say this enough. I've said it a million times, but I just love the profile. It just fits so beautifully in my house. And I just love that. So that I purchased from that charity thrift store. The other thing I got there, I was channeling my sister Kathleen and I couldn't resist this really sweet ceramic urn. This is small in stature. It's probably, I think about eight inches high. And I'm, my intent is to use this on my bookshelf, which is behind me over the corner. You can see the base of it. And I have, you know, books and photos up there. And I thought this would be nice on that. I have a a bowl on there, which I've been wanting to get rid of, but I didn't have anything to put in its place. So I think this will be perfect in that spot. I could paint it. I could put a plant in it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. I like this nice ivory color. And this was $2.75. And it really mirrors the urns that I have outside um, in my front yard. Those are black, but they're cast and cast iron, but it's the same exact detailing and shape. And I thought for fall on my bookshelf, this would be really pretty. Oh, and it has felt, um, felt pads on the bottom. So it doesn't make any noise when you put it down, which is great. And the final thing that I purchased at that charity thrift store was this velvet pillow cover. It is, I think it's a 16 inch square and it is this gorgeous like plum or raisin color. I don't know how it's going to come off in camera on camera, but it is a, like a raisin. I call it raisin or maybe plum, but it's more brown. And it has a linen backing. And it has just a zipper with a little leather tassel. So it's easy to unzip. It was $1, it was $1.25 for this. And a few years ago, I was, I went through a throw pillow craze where I was like constantly on the hunt for the perfect throw pillow. And I just accumulated way too many throw pillows for different seasons and occasions and finally decided to keep the down, the good quality down inserts and just replace the covers. And so I was thrilled to find this fall, nice fall 
I think it's like burgundy. I, I don't know what color you'd call it, but I love it. And uh, I can't wait to wash this and launder it and it'll be perfect over. I know I have several pillows that will fit this. And it may go in this room because this chair just needs some color. And it's just such a nice rich fall tone or possibly on my bed, but I, I'm leaning more toward this chair. So I was very happy to find that for a dollar twenty-five. So those were the three items that I got, excuse me, that I got at the charity thrift store. It's not one that I typically go to, but I was in the area, so I stopped by. The items that I got from the fill a bag sale, I will show you. Now, when I say fill a bag, it was like a garbage bag for $3. So these items, I can't give you the individual price because I was just shoving, shoving stuff in the bag. I'll start with the heaviest item first because this actually, I was so happy to find this, but it's heavy and it made the bag very hard to carry. But this is, this has a kickstand or easel back. This is a cookbook holder or it could also work as a um, a plate plate stand. But I loved this because it is so heavy. I love the detailing on the front. It has this sort of like rope design on it. And this one, I actually have been looking for a cookbook holder for some time because I like to display with cookbooks. But I love that this one could also be great for displaying a platter or a plate. And if you watched, I can't remember which video it was, but I recently hauled a beautiful, I'm just knocking things over over here, a beautiful turkey platter. And I thought this would be perfect to display it in. But I'm gonna show you what I mean by a cookbook holder. I'm sure most of you get it, but just to show you that, you know, it can go like this and then it can sit because this is like a kickstand back, it can sit out on the counter. And then you don't have to worry about losing your place when you're doing a recipe or getting your flower, hand, flowered hands all over things. And I just thought that was a great item. Again, I have no idea how much I paid for it because it was part of a fill a bag. The other items, most of the items in my fill a bag were clothing for my kids that I've already washed and some of them are already wearing. So also as part of that, a bag sale. These items you've already um, kind of these these candles made a debut in the tablescape video because when I was showing you some options that I had for my candles for my table, I showed you this pretty set of orange candles. These I love because they're sort of short. They're probably about six or seven inches high, which makes them ideal for a taller candlestick because I can still put the hurricane glass over it and this won't stick out over the top. And I love this kind of squash pumpkin color. It's a great shade of orange and it looks so beautiful with any blue and white. So I have some blue and white dishes and this looks so gorgeous with it. On the mantle behind me, I have a lot of blue and white and I'm going to put these candles and the candle holders up there because I think they will just be so beautiful with that. So again, I have, I mean, just literally pennies because they were thrown into a villa bag. And also on the, you know, the other items I got for the villa bag were these candles as well. I love to thrift candles. Candles can be so expensive and I just almost always see them at the thrift store. These were marked a dollar each, but again, they were part of that fill a bag. So literally pennies. These have never been used. The other ones haven't either, um, but these are wrapped in plastic. And I love the shape of these. They are a three inch diameter, but they are only about the height of a votive. So these look really gorgeous on any sort of pedestal and or inside of a uh, glass hurricane jar kind of thing. So I, I loved these. It's just a nice ivory color. They're unscented. 
The brand is San Miguel. I have no idea where they're from. There's no other marking, but they are wrapped and sealed in plastic. They are unscented and they're just a nice neutral color, which I think will be perfect for fall. So I grabbed those and threw them in the bag. And I think that's it for thrifted items. But I did want to show you something I picked up at TJ Maxx for fall that I love to do. And it's just a, a small thing that you could do yourself. I love to pick up to-go cups at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or wherever and keep them on hand for the various seasons, particularly fall, because that seems to be, I don't know, coffee season or whatever. And I like to have these on hand in case somebody comes to visit and I want to send them off with a cup of coffee or tea, you can just give them these paper cups. I don't love the sleeve on this. It says current mood and it is a happy jack-o'-lantern, which is great. So I probably wouldn't use the sleeves unless somebody wanted them, but I loved the design. I love this. There's that pretty orange color and just pumpkins. So I thought these are great to have. I keep them by the Keurig and if somebody comes to visit and they're heading out the door, I can send them off with a to-go cup. Or if I'm getting up early and going thrifting and I don't want to have to worry about rinsing out a coffee cup um, or my, you know, my actual stainless steel reusable mug, I will take these. They're also great if you are traveling because you don't want to have to come back from a trip and find a week old <laughs> coffee in your car. So I take these and then I can just dispose of it at the airport or whatever. So these are a great thing to have on hand. I encourage you to, to take a look at these just as one of those swap out touches, like you swap out a dish towel, you could have to go cups. And I think these were $5, $4.99. Yeah. So these were $4.99 for a set of two, four, six, I think there's 10 of them, 12 of them. 12 hot cups, sleeves, and lids. And just a nice little thing that I like to have on hand. Here are a few ways that I have styled my new, newly thrifted pieces. You can see the terrine in my dining room. You'll get to see the candles, the orange candles on my mantle in a couple of different ways. And the ceramic urn on my bookshelf, as well as the cookbook holder holding that turkey platter, which I absolutely adore and a cookbook. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Now go ahead and stay tuned for Relatively Refines, where we share our viewers' thrifted treasures. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This week's Relatively Refined comes from viewer Emily from Florida. She recently thrifted this incredible 42-piece set of cream and rust china with orange luster. It is marked Copeland Late Spode and it includes an impressed date mark, 1889. She purchased all 42 pieces for $40. But most importantly, Emily saved this set from the landfill, which is just music to our ears. And finally, she included an incredible place setting created with her Copeland Spode China dishes and a few other thrifted and inherited pieces to make one of the prettiest fall tables I have ever seen. I'm totally in love with the repoussé silver, which is so special to her as this, is pat this pattern has been passed down in her family for five generations. Emily, I can't thank you enough for sharing this incredible refine with us. And as I said, we love the fact that you rescued these pieces from the landfill. If you would like to have one of your thrifted treasures included in a relatively refined segment, go ahead and send a photo and brief description to the email on the screen and we'd love to feature it in an upcoming video.
And lastly, if Emily's beautiful dishes that she rescued from the landfill have inspired you, I would encourage you to head on over to relativelyrefined.com. You click on the shop link, you can see the treasures that my sisters and I have rescued. We have so many items that we just couldn't bear to leave behind and we would love to pass them along to you. All right, everyone, that will wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.